Good morning, Lions. I'm Marco. And I'm Gracie. Let's start off today's show with the daily announcements. Good morning, Lions. Here are your daily announcements. And here's my sister, Allie, who's shadowing with us today. The Transfer Lion Club is hosting their annual October event next Thursday, October 21st, at break in the center room. There will be games, prizes, snacks, candy, music, and more. RSVP by emailing Maddie Bredick at madeline.bredick at jcero.org. See you there. Returning and prospective boys volleyball players, be sure to come to a meeting in Mr. Dioso's classroom today at 3 o'clock. The upcoming season will be discussed, so bring a friend. Volleyball is a fantastic cross trainer for football and basketball. Want to rebound better? Want to play better defense? Play volleyball. The season begins in February. You can also visit Ms. Corey's classroom to sign up for volleyball anytime. Tickets for this year's fall play, The Mousetrap, are on sale now. It will take place in the Black Box Theater from Wednesday, November 3rd to Saturday, November 6th at 7 p.m. with a 2 p.m. matinee on the 6th. Seats are limited, so be sure to buy your tickets as soon as possible. NHS members will get two NHS hours for attending a performance. Go to jsarah.org slash mousetrap to purchase your tickets today. Don't wait to buy your homecoming ticket. Visit jsarah.org riohoko for all the information and to purchase your ticket. We also want to see all your amazing HOKO asks, so be sure to fill them and send them to JS Lion Nation Instagram to win free tickets to the dance. If you already bought a ticket, we will give you a refund, so don't let that stop you from sending them in. Juniors and seniors, reminding you that the deadline is 5 p.m. to apply for CSF membership. No late applications will be accepted. That's it for today's announcements. Back to the hosts in the studio. Thanks for those announcements, girls. So Grace, the NBA season has just started, and Alex went around campus asking students who their favorite teams are. Let's check it out. Good morning, Jay Sarah. Today we're going to walk around asking people what their favorite NBA basketball team is and what their favorite offseason acquisition was. Let's start. What's your favorite NBA team? Uh, the Clippers. What's your favorite offseason acquisition they made this year? Uh, to be honest, I don't think they really made one I like, but uh, I'm really mad they traded away Pat Bev. He was a dog. He was, he was really good. Yeah, he did a lot of good defense in the playoffs for us. What's your favorite basketball team? Um, doesn't Tom Brady play for the Bucks? Wrong league. What's your favorite NBA team? The Phoenix Suns. What do you think the best offseason move this year was? Um, I think the best offseason move this year was resigning Chris Paul. Yep, resigning him was a huge move. What's your favorite NBA team? Uh, the Lakers. What do you think the best offseason move they did this offseason was? Um, bringing in Rondo is probably a good move for them. Not good move is getting rid of Kyle Kuzma. But that's just my personal opinion. All right, controversial opinion. What's your favorite NBA team? The Lakers, now that they got Russell Westbrook. So what's your favorite Lakers acquisition this offseason other than Russell Westbrook? Uh, probably Kendrick Nunn, who's really good for the Heat. He's going to be really good for us. What's your favorite basketball team? I have to say the Lakers. What's the favorite offseason move they did this year? I have no idea. So I know everyone is getting used to the bistro, but here's Ryan with some helpful advice. Great. I know a few students who could use it. Yo, what's up, Lions? Today, I'm going to be showing through how you can get to the bistro and what to do and what not to do. Yo, what's up, Jay, sir? We're finally in the bistro, and let me tell you what is around. So now we're in the beach show, there's tons of food here. So when you're in here, it's normally like very busy, but when you, fir when you first want to do is grab your lunch, and make sure that, okay, it's not a lot of people you can go through, but sometimes lines when you check out food can be really hectic, and sometimes you want to cut, but people won't allow that. Well, shame on them. You can if you just ask politely, and now you're ready to eat and eat with your friends. I hope you guys enjoy our lions. 
Thanks, Ryan. I heard Bella went around the campus parking lot reviewing some interesting bumper stickers. I can't wait to see what she's found. Hey, J. Sarah, I'm Bella, and today I'm going to be rating everyone's stickers on their cars, so let's go check it out. So, first we have this car. Um, there's a lot going on here. I mean, like, who even listens to One Direction anymore? They broke up. Like, what's the point? And, like, pretty crooked. They didn't really put a, do a good job, like, putting the stickers on. Give them a 4 out of 10. Next, we have this car. Now, I might be biased because Loki's one of my favorite villains, but 10 out of 10. It's pretty good. <laughs> so here we have this car, and I love the treat people with kindness license plate and the two ghosts, because that's a song from Harry Styles. Yeah. And then I'd rather be watching Grey's Anatomy. I love that show. And this is just overall good car with good stickers. 10 out of 10. This one here says surfing is a crime. You hear that, Esteban? And now we have this one, and my driving scares me too. Yeah, my driving scares me too, but like, it doesn't stop me, so whatever. Those were some interesting bumper stickers. Totally. Hey Marco, do you believe there are aliens in Area 51? Uh, I don't know. Well, Lola made a segment asking students what their favorite conspiracy theories are. What's up, J. Sarah? I'm Lola, and today I'm going to be going around J. Sarah asking students their favorite conspiracy theories. What's your favorite conspiracy theory? Um, that Chuck E. Cheese reuses their pizza slices. <laughs> Giselle from the Fast and Furious series is still alive. The building 2 at J. Sarah, we, we're pretty sure is haunted. Probably that the Loch Ness Monster exists. Um, probably that people think um, that Walt Disney's like body is in the one of the Disney rides at Disneyland when you go around in like a little water boat. So probably that one. Doofenshmirtz is Phineas's dad. My favorite conspiracy theory is the Hollow Earth theory. Thanks, Lola. Up next, we have a part two of How Well Do You Know the Habit? Getting to know our new sister, M Mary Andre, with Sister John Michael. <laughs> what is Sister's favorite pastime hobby? Mm. Oh, you've got so many. Think like I'm thinking, okay. Ready? <laughs> so Sister Mary Andre is so good at basketball. She's like super competitive when we play. And one time Sister even twisted her ankle really badly. Just, uh, I don't remember what you were doing. It was like diving for the ball or something. Yeah. She had to be on crutches for a while. So you're really intense. It's a hazard of the game. But with Sister John Michael's height, we make a good team. I'm just saying. I mean, if anyone wants to challenge us, you should probably be afraid. We'll take you on. All right. What is Sister's favorite superhero? Gotta do what I can. Ready? Oh, <laughs> come on! <laughs> Why Spider-Man, so say? Um, I don't know. I think I always had a special spot in my heart for that old Tobey Maguire uh, Spider-Man film. You know, like they've re remade Spider-Man like 10 million times, but I just like like the old. Play. Anywhere in the world, where would she live? Yes. Gosh, that's really hard. Okay, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick up a spot that's humped. Oh, okay. I think it's different. Maybe? Yeah. Okay, let's try. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so I guess like home, we have multiple homes. We do. I was thinking of our mother house is home for all of the sisters. So we're from Ann Arbor, Michigan. And so we always go home to the mother house in, in Michigan, like when we're home with all the sisters. Um, we also have another home in Rome. Thank you, sisters, for participating in Who's Knows Your Habit Best. Thank you. We had so much fun. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for having us. Thanks, Sophia. Finally, as everyone knows, next week is Spirit Week, and you know what that means. What? It means we get to dress up each day with a theme. That's right. ASG and Grace Graham are here to remind us what to wear on Monday. Take it away, Grace. It's going to be a fun week next week for sure. Get into the homecoming spirit, everyone. Well, that's all we have for you today, Lions. Have a great Friday, Jay Sarah. Bye.